Hey, I'm Tom Vitale. Welcome to my kitchen and cooking with wine. Today, we're going to be making a linguine with clam sauce using a California Pinot Grigio. Let's get to the refrigerator and get all the good stuff. Alrighty, let's get some clams. And a couple bottles of wine. California Pinot Grigio. I like the sugar content. We got a ton of fresh garlic. We've got some red hot chili flakes. We've got some kosher salt. We've got some fresh Parmesan cheese. Nice fresh thyme. And of course, the linguine. Let's get the water going. We can get this linguine on and rock and roll. Okay, our water's boiling. We got a little bit of kosher salt. And a linguine. Set of tongs, move it around a little bit. But every five minutes or so, five ten minutes, come back, just, just give it a toss. Uh, you don't have to worry about it boiling over, but you still don't want your pasta to stick together, and this is a good way to make sure that doesn't happen. Now here's the secret to never boiling your pasta water over. Cover it. Let it come back to a boil and shut it off. 25 minutes, the pasta is going to be perfect and you don't have to babysit. Okay, let's get back over to the rest of the ingredients. Now some people like to smash it. I prefer slicing it really thin. It seems to melt away a little bit better. But this is actually going to sort of take quite a while. So it's going to break down in, in, in with the heat. Now once you got it cut up nice and fine, get it back in your bowl. Now I'll tell you, this recipe calls for a lot of garlic. Where will I come from? You can't use too much garlic. So don't be shy. Put it in there. If you cut too much up, don't worry about it. Use it tomorrow in your eggs. Okay, now let's switch over to the time. And of course, this time is a simple one. Just strip it backwards. These fine little stems aren't going to hurt anything. Once you get it all stripped off, cast the big stems aside and just give it a quick chop. I probably got a tablespoon of fresh thyme here. Of course, the secret with fresh thyme is the time you put it in. Fresh herbs, you want to put in the very last. Dry herbs you want to put in early. All right, that's it for the time. All right, why don't we get the little necks over to the stove, get them going, get the wine in the pot, finish this thing up. Now the little prep's done, let's put this together. Okay, first thing you want to do is open a bottle of wine. There you go. Get your clams in. High heat. A little bit of olive oil. A little bit of red pepper flake. So we got the oil, red pepper flake, about a half of the garlic now. We'll say a half a later. A little bit of kosher salt. Cover it all into some white wine. Now remember, never cook with a wine you want to drink. So, have a glass. That steam start going and open these clams up. Now that the clams are starting to open, let's get them out of there. You don't want to let them cook too long, they'll toughen up. 
Oh, this is some sweet love right here. Okay, we'll get them out. What we're gonna do now, we're just gonna let this wine and this clam juice and this garlic cook down. Alright. One thing you need to remember, when you're steaming your little necks, if they don't open, use an indication that they're dead, you don't want to eat them, just can them. We got lucky today, my fishmonger's seafood is so fresh, uh, we don't have any soldiers, any dead soldiers, but what we did do was run out of wine. So let's get another bottle, because this has to keep coming down. yourself a little bit. We'll add the rest of the garlic. A few more chili flakes. I'll let that come back to a boil. What we want to do is we want to bring this down to almost creamy level. Okay, in the meantime, while we've been at to come down, we'll shut these clams out. Again, you want to try to get these just as they open. You don't want to let them overcook it. It will get a little tough on you. Maybe these young, little sweet ones. One thing to remember is little neck, keep them little. The bigger the clam, the tougher the clam. So you want to stay with the clam about the size of a 50 cent piece or smaller. Anything bigger than that, they get too tough. All right, so we're all shucked up. Let me get rid of these shells and we're about ready to put this all together. That was two and a half dozen. They don't go a real long way. So don't think you're going to feed, you know, a person with a half a dozen necks. All right, ah, uh, now, we're starting to kind of reduce down. We're gonna put a little bit more in. And I think we're even gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in there. Yeah, you know, you may want to put a little bit of lemon. Ah, uh, you, you can if you want, you don't need to if you don't want to, that's fine. I like the little tartness, I like the tartness with the heat. We just added that last, eh, maybe half a bottle of wine. Uh, starting to get nice and gooey. You can feel the sugar come out. Now what I'm gonna do, is I've got a little bit of cornstarch. Maybe a half a teaspoon. But maybe an eighth of a cup of water. I'm just gonna put a little bit in because I don't want to cook too much of the moisture out. And I want to get this dish put together. That's going to come together just like it is. I, I, I wish you guys could smell this. The heat of the, of the pepper flakes, the, the tartness of the lemon, the sweetness of the wine, it's just amazing. We're going to finish this up. We're going to, we're going to dump the fresh thyme in. We're going to actually turn the heat off because we don't want it anymore. We're going to bring the pasta in. Oh, God. We're going to dump the clams in. We're going to give them a toss. A little bit of fresh ground pepper. Pepper's a good thing. So there we go. Mmm, not like cook. I'm going to thank you guys for coming into my home. I want you to remember, you ain't cooking, 
If you wait cooking with wine. See you next time.